Hey, this is Sam Kim, the producer of Terra. And I'm Stefan Ramirez, the associate producer. We're excited today to provide a brief highlight of the demo we gave to Community and Press at PAX 2010. What you're about to see is an exclusive look at a new, updated build filled with content, improvements, and polish. This is not a trailer, but a cut-down version of our demo built entirely from footage captured in one of our playthroughs. Terra is deep. It doesn't have a story, it is a story. And progression in Terra isn't just about levels, items, or skills, but about moving the story forward and finding more about the world and your role in it as a player. Which brings us to why we're here today. The Valkyrie Federation has tasked an elite band of warriors to take down Turkasia and her evil band of cultists responsible for countless deaths of Federation citizens. I am Medjai the Priest. This is Atelius the Berserker. Brutus the Lancer. Zane the Archer. And finally, Bartholomew the Slayer, or Bob for short. To recap on the adventure thus far, the Valkyrie Federation called us to investigate any potential threats on the island of Dawn. There we found clues of a secret and dangerous cultist organization leading to the smuggler's hideout. There, the party encountered the Rock Monster, where Brutus protected everyone with his shield. After defeating the Rock Monster, the party found clues of the cultists leading us to the excavation site. The Federation awarded us with mounts and skills plus material for crafting. I chose weapon crafting, Bob chose butterfly gathering. Good job, Bob! And at the excavation site, the party encountered the Guardian, a monster made in the image of Turkasia. The Guardian was tough, and we almost didn't make it. Bob died four or five times, People were flying all over the place, and even Brutus went down. Luckily, we managed to defeat the Guardian and track the final location of Turkasia, leading us to the cultist refuge. Our mission? To take out Turkasia. We start things off by joining up with some mercenaries. Their help is welcome, as they'll definitely be necessary for the encounters to come. Our first arena demonstrates how the environment can be just as tough as the enemy. Spikes shoot through the floor, drawing blood and knocking us down. The strategy for us is to work the center of the room and not let the enemy push us into a fight with the spikes. I like how everybody's working together. You're working the center of the room. You're keeping that creature right in the middle, pinned down. This room really separates the men from the boys. The trick is to pay attention to the actions of the monster as well as the party around you. The mages throw energy blasts and the lancers bash enemies, both of which knock players down, leaving them vulnerable to attacks. Those lancers can do just as much damage as our guys, but they're huge! Look at those shields! The party has to work together and really support each other to make it past this room. This is a classic example of looks can kill. What looks to be a captive woman is actually a high priestess in disguise. She will use a variety of attacks that we need to watch out for. So some of these enemies actually have the ability to knock down the player, leaving them vulnerable to attack. Ah, and there's a knockdown! Her scepter will swirl around with a purple streak right before she blasts ice at you. We need to avoid this and take up position behind her or to the sides to attack while avoiding damage. This is an Argon Army Destroyer. He is a devastating force that will require us to focus on movement, placement, and timing. Yowza, that is a big hit. He has four arms and the first thing that jumps out at you is the giant swords which he will use to smash us. Notice how that chest is glowing, that actually means the Argon is running low on health and that he's getting more and more desperate with his attacks. He can throw both of those swords down with electricity. We have to avoid this and use our agility to dodge and block often. He also has a tendency to move all over the place. You'll see him drop two of his massive arms down, vault himself forward, and slash with his swords all at once. We really need Brutus and Atelius to get in there and keep his attention. With Bob slashing and rolling, and Zane utilizing his charge attacks for lethal damage from range. Medjai has to heal and stay alert during this encounter if we hope to survive. Turkasia is the reason why we're here, and our mission is to avenge our countless fallen comrades. But this encounter won't be easy. Here comes Tarkasia. There she comes, she's charging. Jump, get out of the way, dodge. Careful, she'll run right through us. Your number one defense is to move yourself out of the way. It's all about placement and timing. Watch for those tentacle attacks. Tarkasia has two incredibly powerful tentacles that do massive damage, as well as spinning blades that decimate any nearby opponent. Combine these with countless powerful ability combos and an impenetrable defense, and you have one of the strongest foes the Federation has ever faced. Luckily with teamwork and awesome heals, we prove that it's possible to 
take her down. That wraps up our PAX 2010 demo of Terra. If you like what you see now, you'll love what we'll have at launch. We're continuing to build, improve, and add content, and there's a lot more in store for the future. Soon, we'll be providing even more depth around things we touched upon today, like story, instance dungeons, crafting, enchanting, mounts, and much more. Terra is coming in 2011, and if you haven't already done so, check out our website, terra-online.com, and join our community for inside info on what's in store.